Welcome back to the Fish Cave, guys. Today I want to talk to you guys about something very different and do something unique and talk about a gentleman who got charged with animal cruelty. Uh, this case happened in the United States here in North Carolina. Um, he was charged, you know, in regards to his Oscar fish, leaving it in his aquarium. Um, I want to jump into that. Talk about, you know, a little bit about the article in this specific situation, but more about, you know, the bigger picture and the laws and, you know, what the laws are. Especially interested to hear from those viewers outside of the United States, because I know that in some uh, countries abroad, the laws are a lot different and are, you know, more strict regarding pet fish and the aquarium hobby. But in this particular case, I printed out the article here and I highlighted a few things. Like I said, I wanna not necessarily talk about the gentleman himself and what he may or may not have done wrong, but I wanna talk about kind of the, the bigger picture. Like I said, this just happened in April 2019 um, in North Carolina. This gentleman was charged with animal cruelty. Um, there's three counts of a misdemeanor cruelty to animals and one count of abandonment of an animal. I mean, he's facing these charges for abandoning his pet fish after he was evicted uh, from his home last month, um, making him the first person, making it the first time a person has ever faced cruelty charges in the county over an abused fish. So this is the first, first case scenario in this county. And I think that's pretty common here in the states. Let me know, I'm curious if you guys um, know your local laws. I actually did reach out to some local uh, law enforcement authorities here in Florida, and I wanna talk to you about kind of what I heard back from them about the situation. But in terms of, um, you know, North Carolina, at least, in this county, it was the first time ever. So I'm curious, you guys, have you guys ever heard of situations like this in your county or your state or your country? Um, and it, sounds, it seems here like uh, it says, following his eviction, sheriff's deputies went to his home and noticed a sick Oscar fish swimming in a tank of dirty water. The fish was malnourished and suffering from something called hole in the head disease, which, de ve which develops when they live in dirty water and are not fed. I haven't personally dealt with hole in the head disease, but I know a lot of people out there in the bigger fish community, I know that um, something like an Oscar is susceptible to it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of times it you know, can be due to really poor conditions or a very meaty diet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're familiar with hole in the head disease, uh, but it looks like this Oscar was um, you know, suffering from that. And this is kind of why I wanna, I wanna talk about this story because there's a lot of details that we don't know. And before I you know, crucify this gentleman for what he did or didn't do, um, it looks like he was evicted from his property. So I don't have all the timelines and dates. So for all we know, he was evicted and then uh, you know, he couldn't have access to his fish for a month and that's why it was in bad condition. I also know that it, it usually takes some time you know, if he hadn't had access to the fish for you know, three days or even a week, you know, it probably the conditions aren't gonna be that bad. Um, so it, it would take some time most likely for the fish to develop that disease and for the tank conditions to be, you know, that bad. However, we don't have the timeline, so, you know, I really can't, you know, judge. I really want to talk about just kind of, you know, the situation of individuals when they are, you know, abusing fish. And then it's proven, you know, should it be considered the same as cats and dogs? Because as we'll see right now, in a lot of cases, it's not. This is a quote from um, the sheriff's department and it, you know, it, it says, this is a life just like any cat or dog. If you harm or neglect an animal in New Hanover County, we are coming from you. So that's a quote that was taken from them and shared by this, this news outlet. Um, and then it says, the fish was taken to a pet store called The Fish Room, where it's recovering, according to the store owner. So big shout out to the store owner of you know, The Fish Room in North Carolina. Kudos to you for stepping in and you know, nursing this Oscar fish back to health. I think it's also kind of ironic that this story involves an Oscar fish. Uh, if you guys are in the community or have been in the fish keeping community for a while, you may know that you know, Oscar fish kind of get this stigma as this fish that a lot of beginner aquarists keep. It is a, it's an awesome fish. I don't have one myself. I think it's an awesome fish. Um, but a lot of times people don't realize how big and needy and you know, territorial they can be and you know, their, their care can go by the wayside. So it kind of has this stigmatism of being this fish that can be an awesome aquarium fish and an awesome pet, but also tends to um, you know, just be neglected or has this stigmatism or this you know, belief that it is one of those fish that you know, is neglected um, more often than not. The store owner said when the fish came in, it was in pretty bad shape. Hole in the head is a parasite that starts in the intestines and works its way from the inside out, slowly killing the fish. The disease, which is fatal if left untreated, 
causes lesions and allows bacteria to get inside of the fish. Um, he said it's somewhat common in Oscar fish, but to prevent it, it's imperative that you do constant water changes and feed your fish properly. So that all makes sense. Um, you know, he, he, the fish, the, uh, the store owner goes on to say that the Oscars do make great pets. They are very trainable. They have huge personalities. Um, and then they finish with that, the quote from the, the sheriff's office talking about that this is a life just like any other cat or dog. And if you harm or neglect any animal in New, in New Hanover County, we are coming for you. And then he was released on bail, uh, a fourth, he was released from jail on a $4,000 bond. So I thought that was pretty interesting. You know, $4,000 bond isn't a million dollars, but it was pretty, you know, $4,000 is still, you know, decent bail. I'm not really familiar with the, the bail system, but it seemed like a decent chunk of change to me. At this point, you know, I'm thinking, okay, that's pretty neat. You know, North Carolina, at least in New Hanover County, they treat fish apparently like any other pet. Apparently there hadn't been any other um, arrests made on fish or due to neglect to fish, but this was the first case. And you know, the sheriff came out and said it, hey, listen, we're gonna treat this like any other cat or dog. Well, I found an updated story, and this is dated uh, April 10th, I think it was updated, so just a day or two later, and it's titled, Off the Hook. Prosecutors dismiss charges against a man of abandoning his pet fish. So it seems as if this gentleman, the district attorney's office announced that charges against this man of abandoning his pet fish have been dismissed. And it goes on to say that, we take a very dim view of anyone who would abuse any creature, great or small, and appreciate the Animal Service Division's enforcement of the laws to protect against vulnerable animals, um, but fish are not protected under these statutes. Therefore, all charges against this gentleman are dismissed. So it turns out that when they, you know, when they got down to it and they looked up the statues and the, the legal teams got into it, and this is the district attorney speaking, you know, they felt like they couldn't proceed forward no, not necessarily on the grounds of, hey, we don't know the timeline, we don't know, you know the disease, we don't know exactly what happened here, but simply for the fact of, hey, this law is not on the books. It doesn't, you know, the law doesn't stretch apparently to include, you know, fish as our pets. You know, in my opinion, I think that should change. Um, I think that there, you know, should be uh, a motion towards including fish and other pets for that matter, whether it be hamsters, reptiles, etc into the laws that affect our, you know, cats, dogs, horses, um, you name it. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I did contact my local authorities to kind of figure out and see what is going on in my area. First, I reached out to 311, which is a local number available in most, most places in the United States, I believe. It's kind of like a non-emergency number. You can report things, ask for information, and I kind of asked them, and although they do, um, they do accept reports on you know, animal abuse. They directed me to the animal services. So I called animal services and spoke to a wonderful, helpful lady there, but she informed me that they really only deal with dogs and cats and that you know, um, in terms of horses or goats or other farm animals, that's more of an agricultural thing and that the um, aquarium fish should be dealt with under the Florida Fish and Wildlife. So I reached out to Florida Fish and Wildlife, left a message for them. I actually have uh, a video I've been planning. I wanna do a collaboration with them because I've, I have a great kind of you know, educational video or something that I personally went through a learning experience that I dealt with um, a few months back that I've been wanting to share with you guys and I think will make, like I said, a great learning experience from me personally. And I wanna collaborate with uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife. So I'm hoping that you know, I can uh, collaborate with them and hear back from them on the local laws here in Florida. I wasn't able to find out any information to see if um, you know, fish are included within uh, the same laws as cats and dogs. However, I do know uh, from personal experience, once again, that Florida Fish and Wildlife is actively you know, in the area monitoring you know, um, freshwater aquariums to a certain extent. Very interesting article. I'm very curious, like I said, to see what um, your opinion is if you live you know, outside the United States. If you live in Europe, I know um, a lot of the, the laws there are different and a lot of the just kind of the policies and how people conduct themselves, especially when it comes to uh, the stores, the farms, you know, the wholesalers on that end of the, the business, things are a little different. That's my understanding. So I'm curious to see how your opinions are there. And obviously I'm very curious to see how you guys feel um, here in the US 
and if you know your local laws, what they are, because obviously, you know, this is something that's not a, a national thing, whereas across the whole country, um, we don't have a, a law, to my knowledge. It's something that apparently is down to, you know, the county level, it looks like. I do want to say a big shout out for the deputies to reporting it and actually thinking it was necessary to go down, you know, those route or that route. Um, obviously, it's not their fault or anyone else's fault that, you know, that the laws just aren't there. It's not the prosecutor's fault the laws aren't there. Uh, but I think it's on us as individuals, as the people, to kind of, you know, start talking about that, have that conversation. And if you feel, you know, whichever way you feel, I think there's a lot of us out there that do feel like these, you know, um, the fish should be included and other animals as well that should be other pets should be included within you know our laws to protect you know against animal cruelty um, so let me know your comments down below i appreciate you guys watching i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video it's something that it's kind of i saw this i really wanted to just you know kind of talk about it because i don't really see people talking about it that much although i think it's you know opinion we all have as always guys stay positive and stay passionate